Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. This is a bit of a different video because I have spent the last three days doing so much art and none of it is good enough for a video. And I have now reached the stage where I can't even decide what's, if it's good enough or not. No, I know it's not good enough, but I don't know how to move on from it. So I thought, right, let me just show you. And then from there, maybe I'll make sense of it too. And I figured if I feel this way, then other people must feel this way. So in the last video, I had collaged some jelly print papers. And do you know what? I really like this as a single piece, but it's not a video because it was just already jelly it was jelly prints that I then jelly printed more on but I do think that could be used as a standalone piece so I've done some more of them I've done lots of collage so I've done more of the ones that from the last video and then I thought I'll try some little pattern ones where I cut them up into pieces and then I've put a glaze over them. Mediocre. I didn't mind these two as much. This one I used a ultramarine blue glaze I think and that's a quinacridone magenta glaze. Really like this one. This one, it's just too much. It's like an underwater scene. And I love that little guy. This is like a little parrot coming out of its cage, sticking its head out and seeing the sun's out and thinking, oh, I'm going back to bed. So, again, I've done them. I made hours of videos because I've actually got... Where are you? Part of that process was making, I got some ivy leaves from the garden. All these are here. And I took so many gel prints because the idea was to make those little patterns. But I just didn't like how they were turning out. And I did it in so much scrap papers. I mean, these were this size when I was putting them on. Some of them are nice, like see this, I really, I think that colour worked well. I'm not sure what colour that is. Do you know what I think the problem is? I've had a tidy up, like a, a real organised tidy up. And I, I think it's really affected the way that, um, that I'm doing the art because my brain isn't, thinking about it the same way um I don't know it's not joyful it's probably because tidying up's not joyful <laughs> so next time somebody says they prefer to work in chaos and unorganized I do think I do better with that I have a place for everything I do do that but when everything's in its place, I don't know. I can't cope with it. <laughs> now, another thing I did as well was I made, all right, it's dried in now. Basically, I had some high flow burnt sienna, like burnt sienna acrylic ink and some Lindy's shimmer spray. It's like a mica spray with lots of water and I made like a little bath and then I took some of my papers I'm not keen on the smell of coffee I like drinking it but I don't like it on the paper so I have made a lot of papers for a junk journal using that method and there's some that I have gessoed as well and I did these two because that one's 
the, they've both had the sort of burnt sienna bath and then this has been gessoed and this hasn't and that's been gessoed and this hasn't and I'm still deciding what I prefer <laughs> I think for a junk journal I do think I mean you could work on that very easily it's really pushed into the background and also I found with the sepia bath that actually these feel very nice Sometimes with the acrylic papers, they can feel, you know, the acrylic paint can change. It changes how they feel and it, it makes, it does feel different when you're working with them. So, I did that as well. I think I've seen that on Elizabeth St. Hilaire, to be honest. Now, I've been working hard trying, it's, do you know what I actually think? Sorry, I've got one more thing here before I go into the next. This is a blank card. So that card stock, you know when you buy blank cards and envelopes. And I thought, right, I've got stick on library ticket pockets and library cards. And I've got like a hundred of them and I never use them. And then because I've joined the Makers Mixed Media, make makers of mixed media art group on facebook you do happy mail months a month and i was thinking it'd be nice to have some things ready so and i thought if you do this you could maybe you know do a bit of stenciling or something you could do a bit more to this but i thought that would be nice to write a note to the person and then you could have your artist trading card although this is a playing card but you could have your artist trading card in there and it would just be a lovely wee way to present it that's one of the ivy leaves that I did from the garden on the jelly plate so I made that as well I think this could be the crux of my problem too these watercolours with doodles now this one is Getting there. I really like this one. This one's, oh, I don't know. These watercolours with doodles are causing me a lot of problems because I think that's what's making me feel like nothing I do is good enough. Because I do like that one. I think that's like a dog howling at the moon. <laughs> Or, or like a lizard but none of these feel good enough and I think that's what's getting to me actually because I have been working so hard on these and I think what I need to do is step away from them I see other people doing them and they look wonderful and I think why can't I do that I've got hours of video of these hours And because I think they're not good enough, I can't talk about them. I can't present a video to you. So, and then the other thing I did was from my botanical jelly prints, I started doing negative painting. That design was actually very hard to work with for a negative painting novice, which is why I stopped. And then I did this one, and I quite liked it. I think it's like a sort of steampunk bird. It's like a bird feeding its young, but it's on that kind of mechanical bicycle type thing going through the sky. That's the feeling I get from it. And I just put a quinacridone orange and I think it's naphthenol red glaze over it as well. But again, it just feels a bit not right so I think that might be the problem I think that I'm trying to do new ideas that I think that I should be able to do and I'm just struggling with and I think that is um, the problem and I, I think with the jelly plate as well although I was using fresh leaves etc 
because I'd already done the jelly printing in the last video with these I just felt like I was repeating myself when I was doing the botanical ones so I just want you to know that I have been intending to I have been trying very hard to make videos but nothing I do feels good enough and I'm sure we all go through that phase as well and I think that maybe I'm trying to do too many new things at once and it's okay to be repeating the same processes when you're using them in different ways and also I'm using fresh plants on scrap papers whereas the other one I was taking failed jelly prints if you like and making them more complex so um I don't know what I'm going to do next but I do know it's not going to be negative painting and it's not going to be watercolour and doodles and it's maybe going to be just something I feel a bit more confident with so I just thought that I would share this with you and like I said I now feel that this next video that I have to make I feel so much pressure <laughs> That I thought, well, I'm just going to come on and we're just going to do this video. And that's it. So, thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoyed my, um, my bits and pieces that I've been doing. And I hope to see you soon. And take care. Bye.